Alright, hi guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be doing something different. We're going to be taking a break from 40k stuff, where we're going to be painting some stuff for Age of Sigmar, uh, specifically Soul Blight, because I am starting a Soul Blight army to go with a, I think it's called a Path to Glory, uh, starting next Wednesday at my local Warhammer store. So I picked up the Soul Blight Star Collecting Box, uh, so I have to paint 20. Grave or grave, grave watch skeletons. Forgive me if I get the names wrong. The older models are elude me. Uh, five black knights, and then I'm not painting the white king or the right king on uh, the skeleton steed. Instead, I'm going to be using Belladonna Volga, so that way I can take my nine leftover fire wolves. Uh, paint them up and then I can use them when she uses her spell to convert enemy model fallen enemy models into direwolves. And then as as if every two weeks it the point value will be going up. So I should be able to include the, the right king eventually. And then I also have a converted werewolf from Radicar the Beast that I asked about and they said yeah you can use that. I wanted to run as a Vargskier. And they said that would be fine to run with as long as my opponent's fine with it. So I'll have a list involving that as well. But for now, we got to paint up these Grave Warden. What, the name is uh, the Skeletons. See, <laughs> I had it earlier and I lost it. And so to start with, we actually have to base them. Because uh, when I was talking to the manager at the Games Workshop store, or the Warhammer store, excuse me, that's what they're called now. Uh, he was reading out the email because it also goes to it's being run by a different location relatively close to me. And they have to be up to bottle ready standards, so I gotta base them and all that. So I'm gonna put the texture paint on the base before I even prime it because while well, Astro Granite, I have Astro Granite debris and I have Armageddon dust. And while Astro Granite, uh, Astro Granite <laughs> debris, if I'm really loving words today uh it's close to the color i want armageddon dust is most certainly not and i want to get rid of this stuff first because it's a smaller bottle from the uh the eighth edition uh plague marine uh starter paint set so of course it came with a bunch of different paints but like the known oil the agrax or shade and the Armageddon dust were all in a much smaller pot than usual. Which I didn't mind. It was still a good deal. You got, what was it? Three minis. Uh, you got a bunch of different paints to use. And then these texture paints. You also got glue, clippers. So it was a decent deal. It was a nice little starter kit. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to base all these guys and then I will be back. Let these guys sit to dry for about an hour. Sometimes with these texture tanks or texture paints, excuse me, it takes a really long time for them to dry, depending on how much you clump them up. So now I'm just gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prime all of them black. I'm gonna spray all of them doom bowl brown. Because I'm going to be doing, uh, first off, it'll base coat for the bones. Second off, it'll base coat the armor. Because I'm going to be doing what I did in my speed paint uh, rusted metals video for the iron armor. And then from there, I'm only going to paint them in batches of five. Because trying to paint 20 models at once is just, that just kills your morale. So, let's get started.
dry tip bottom up on the airbrush. Like so, real quick. Yeah. I'm not gonna make you guys watch me prime all 20. So I will be back when these guys are all painted black. Alright. Alright, buddy's prime black. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna spray all the skeletons with Doombo Brown, like I said earlier, just gonna base the bones as well as the armor. That's not good. What the hell is going on? Okay, well, that was interesting. Um, <laughs> like I said, now again. Actually, I'm gonna let this guy dry just because he's got that. He's got a big old pool of really thin down, doomable brown in his recesses now, thanks to whatever's going on with my airbrush. So we'll move on to this guy for now. I can give me a hard time on the base. If we don't hit all the metal, I'm not too concerned. I want to make sure. That I'm sure All the metal and bones gets covered, especially the bones. The metal, you can have some spots where the metal isn't really rusty, but the bones, I really want them all to have this reddish brown undercoat. It's going to take, probably going to have to do two passes through every model. Just because when you use a color through the airbrush, it doesn't come out quite. Now we're going to do some dry brushing. Uh, this is really just for the metallics. We're going to start with lead belcher. And then because we have to highlight it for uh, battle ready standards, we're going to come in with Necron compound afterwards. But first... Now, with these really hard to reach areas, I'm going to have to come back in, probably with my tiny makeup brush. Don't you guys see me use every now and then. Actually, oh, there we go. But if 
you're having trouble, a small, tiny little makeup brush like the one I use. I'll go grab it and I'll show you guys in the, probably the next, the next clip. But you know what I mean. If you've watched any of my videos before, you've seen it. All right, so this is where we're at. Nice rusted look for the metal. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do just these other four, and then I'm going to come back in with the Necron compound, and I'm going to call it a night for now. So yeah, I'll see you guys when those guys are have the first layer of metallics. Alright. Tiny makeup brush time. So we're coming in, this is Necron compound, and I'm just going to brighten up some of the raised details. And I might switch back to the bigger brush and just do a lighter dry brush, but this I can be really, ooh, that's a little, just a little too much paint on there still. I just gooped that all on. All right, pretend you didn't see that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But yeah, that gives us a little bit more of a shine just because we do need a some sort of a highlight for battle ready standards. The axe blade, I'm actually gonna flick it towards the blade edge, so that's where it's gonna be sharpest, which means that's where the rust is actually going to be present the least because it's just chipping off every time they. Hit something with the axe, get some of the chain mail with this, some of the trim that I'm just leaving silver. I'm not going to do a separate color for the trim. I don't see a point in it. And then, yeah, all right. So there's our highlighted rusty metal armor. Uh, tomorrow after work, I will record the bones. And then, depending how long that takes to get through five of them, I will do the cloth. Yeah, because by then I'll decide on what color I'll do for the cloth. I'd kind of like to do purple, because purple is my favorite color. All right. So off camera, I went in and I reapplied uh, Doomble Brown onto all the bones because I had gotten really sloppy with the metallics. But now we can come in, and this is Xandri dust, and we're gonna come in, we're gonna layer this all over the bones now. And this will probably take two, maybe three layers. We want the paint to be on the thinner side. Because we do want that a hint of the reddish brown to come through the paint. We gotta get the vertebrae down here. Oop. When it comes to bones, like on his forearm here, you got two bones, you got the gap. I'm trying to leave as much of the Mornfang brown in the gap as possible. But I also want to cover as much of the bones as I can with the Xandri dust. I'm 
this is the tricky part getting him back here. At this point, I really don't want to get any of this on the armor plating or even the uh, the hilt of the axe, or excuse me, the handle of the axe, because that's already highlighted up. And of course, I'm talking about it, I just did it. So once the sand dust is dry, I'm going to come in. This is Agrax Earthshade, and we're going to use this to darken it down a little bit and to kind of redefine some of the recesses on this guy. The, uh, like, especially on this model, I'll bring him up to the camera so you can see it better. He's got, I uh, gave him one of the heads from the Citadel Skull Pack, or excuse me, one of the skulls from the Citadel Skull Pack rather than giving him one of the heads that come with the kit. Just to add a little bit of variation. I don't want to do another just jawless skull. So, uh, and with all the layers of paint we've done, I've kind of lost the definition around the teeth. So I'm just adding this in. This is uh, it's going to darken down the bones, give us a little bit more definition. And then what we're going to do after this is dry is we're going to come back in with Xandri Dust. We're going to do one final highlight. And the bones on these guys are done. And then I am mighty tempted to just leave the cloth super dirty. And brown with metallics on it. Because first off, at this point, I got to tell you guys. I am not carrying that much. These models do not inspire me one little bit. They are so old and so bland compared to the new, like the, the Death Rattle guys, the Death Rattle Skeletons. I didn't buy them because they weren't in the start collecting box. Uh, I'm probably going to replace these guys with them down the line. By probably, I mean pretty much 90% sure I'm going to be replacing them. So. Yeah, alright. Uh, I'm going to let this dry. Then we're going to come back. We'll do that final highlight. And then these guys will be done. Yay. Extra shade should be dry. It didn't really bring back that much definition on this head. But on the others, it definitely re helped redefine the teeth. I think part of it is just because this skull really wasn't meant to be a head, it was just to be a basing decoration. But that's okay. So now we're coming, this is Xandry Dust again, and we're gonna try and just highlight, pack up some of these areas. Here. Just a, just a much smaller brush. And I'm just gonna come in the higher bones, uh, the raised brow here. Basically, I'm essentially dry brushing right now. Because I'm really just using the side of my brush to catch raised edges. Oops. Hold on. Got a little sloppy there. Huh. Good enough. Alright. There we go. There's our highlighted bone. And I am definitely going to call these guy or this guy done. Um, if I feel like it later on, I might come in and clean up the cloth for his, around his waist. But I don't think I will, honestly. Unless I, I might, if I intend to, if uh, when I get the death route, I might just put these guys on eBay, I might clean that up just so that way they look nicer. But otherwise, these guys can stay, this guy can stay how he is. I'm gonna get the others up to the standard. And then my death guard, or excuse me, <laughs> grave guard will be done. Thank you all for watching. Uh, I'll see you on the next episode. Uh, we're gonna be painting up a black knight to go along with my army as well. So, see you then.